Yeah. Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the stream. We're gonna have a few more people coming in soon enough. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> hold on, I've, I always love it when I started talking because it uh, gives me an opportunity to fix my audio mistakes. Uh, all right, anyways, so I, we're gonna be starting very soon. Today I am joined with my excellent big brother, uh, Michael Page. Wow, way to dox my full name <laughs> on the internet and everything. Everyone knows they my name. find my Facebook. Oh boy, you mean the Facebook you haven't logged into for like eight years and doesn't yeah, provide any up-to-date information? Back when I posted stuff, I was really cringe and a chud. Mm. I don't want people getting that impression of don't just deactivate your Facebook. I swear to God. Anyways, uh, I use it for Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to be doing Grim Fandango today, which is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Michael, an old point-and-click adventure comedy game produced by Lucas Arts in the year 1987. Uh, that's not quite the perfect way to put it. Uh, it is an old 
a uh, point and click puzzle adventure game. Uh, Lucas Arts published it, if I'm not mistaken, but the actual development team behind it was Double Fine, which is the studio behind such hits as Psychonauts 1 and 2. Uh, you know, they've had a couple more games, uh, a series called Costume Quest, where you're like kids fighting monsters on Halloween. You know. In addition, I have another big thing. It was not 1987. I pulled that year out of my ass. It's a 1998 adventure game. It is 1998, though I think that's when they released the version we're playing today, which is the remastered version. Mm -hmm. um, this game, you know, it, it's up there with the, the Monkey Island games for greatest point-and-click puzzle games of all time. Yeah, I'll be um, honest, I was thinking about playing the Monkey Island games on stream sometime. I rate Grim Fandango far above the Monkey Island games because it's just one game. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Also, the music is top tier. I'm just gonna say that right now. It was made by the same guy who's done a ton of Double Fine uh, music stuff, but also was lead on music design for Brutal Legends. I have no idea what that is. What the hell is Brutal? You know what? Have, you know that game. You've shown me clips from it. That's the, that's the like, it looks like it's going to be a hack and slash game, but it's actually a real-time strategy game. And the main character is Jack Black the roadie thrown into a Oh, fantasy. I didn't know that was the name of the video game. Yeah, Brutal Legend. I yeah, love that it's Jack he, Black. he, like, saves the world through the power of metal. <laughs> Uh, I also should play that sometime. Um, oh man, we got three viewers now. That's nice. That's very nice. You, me, and Angie. Shut up. <laughs> you're right. That doesn't mean you're allowed to speak. Okay. So, anyways, it. Good. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Anyways, main menu time and my face. Hello, everyone. Long time no see. Haven't streamed in like. I think it's been like a couple, like a month or so, right, Mike? I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep track of when you stream. Whenever you work your way out of your depression funk and start streaming again, feel free. Well, we're fucking working on it, let me tell you. Um, and I guess we're just going to start up with a new game. Actually, it might be a little bit loud. I couldn't tell you because I'm not listening to the screen. <laughs> it's a pretty loud in my ears. So I would imagine. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. Very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Well, I love how expressive the bad news is like the train are. appears to be just out of your reach, but oh, yeah. I still got it's a couple here. of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle would sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? 
Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, so Manny, how long the boss is this, told me to tell uh, you intro. not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk That's to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I love I'm like old pre-rendered cutscenes. It's Especially very not with clients like that. I don't even know how to explain it. It's Where do they get nostalgic in a way I can't really they understand. They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything the, good. It is can't work off my time and I'm stuck. But it's also stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I yeah. need better well, I mean, clients. It's I need a real it's very saint. Old, I need know? a lead on a rich dead saint. I just saint. get frustrated seeing pre-rendered scenes in the modern day where it's like, wow, this hmm. is so good. ¿Qué es esto? Mm -hmm. And then the game starts and it's garbage. Yeah. Looks like I got a message. I mean, the frames are excellent, so, you know. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you we boneheads. Get, Thank you, lucky cars. stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many oh, dead geez. to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Okay, I do. I have got to turn everything Whatever. down. It's so loud. Like, I'm turning it down. I'm I'll sorry, actually keep, I'll keep voice. I'll keep voice slightly higher than everything else. What do you say, Hiffy? I'm sorry, did you drop the call? Huh? No. You, you were gone out of the call for like a hot second for some reason. Really? I love my internet. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, oh, uh, well, could I, you know, maybe I'll just watch This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. On Twitch instead of. Nothing in there but my the cloak. Eh, no I'm gonna let it air out some more. Nah, hold on. Let me, um... Okay, so Discord for some reason swapped over to my other monitor for a moment there. Oh, uh, did my the screen share stop? Yeah, that that's what I was saying. Like, you completely dropped for a minute. Here. We love technical difficulties, alright? Also, I really, like... I don't feel like that actually changed the volume at all. It still sounds so loud to me. It's a deck of cards. Better take these cards. They look... Hmm. All right. Is there anyone to, like, stash this in my inventory? Uh, bottom right, the thing that's, like, putting it into your coat. Yeah. Okay. And then everything else is just my cloak, I guess. Uh, if you hit your little bottom right coat thing as well, you can just, uh... Open up the inventory? Pull stuff out whenever you want. Yeah. I like the style of this game. Like, fixed camera angles. Kind of reminds me of, like, uh, old gameplay of Resident Evil 1. Here's the Hold best on. part about this. The point-and-click aspect of this game was... If I'm not mistaken, introduced with the remaster. Originally, you had like tank controls. Really? Yeah. Hold on, give me one moment. I'm gonna like mess around with my Steam and put it on Do Not Disturb. Um, so that I don't get like notifications. Oh my gosh, we got the flesh ball. The what? Are you what? <laughs> oh, the ball. flesh ball. Yeah, my little blender animation I made like four. I should make another Be Right Back animation. I really should. All right. It should be your it's guy. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's left whipping arm boy, and Manny. Left foot at the same time that you showed me. The what? You made a, you made a blender animation of a guy walking some years ago now. He was swinging his left arm and his left leg at the same time. Yeah, no, that was like one of the first walk cycles. Buenos did. dias. Manny, that why aren't amazing. you at the poisoning? Any messages for me? Besides the one why is the poisoning? audio fucking yeah. up? I only have one do you other hear that? message for you, Manny. I do I'm not hear just that. secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it. All right. 
Well, never I go hit seen the that. Break. Okay. What the fuck? I've got no idea. I've never seen that app before. All right, so why does he like run really fast sometimes? What's up with that? Uh, if you double click, he'll run. <laughs> he chugging. Look at the boy go. I love how short and stubby his legs are compared to his torso. There we go. All right. Oh, I sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. When did I lose my edge? Please don't tell me you hear this cat meowing. Also, if you're talking, what I don't hear Yeah, Michael, like, I was, what, little sister knocked on my door. What do you mean cat okay. meowing? I, uh, Gracie's cat. Oh, it's yeah, no. Decided that she wants attention. I wasn't sure if Discord was picking it up. What the hell is he? Petrified forest. Yeah. I'm not walking on the freak. The petrified forest Ruba Kava. I shouldn't even be standing here. Why did he just decide he wanted to stand on the road? All right, is this my car? Can I take this car? No, that is not. We your can't car. operate cars. That's how you they can keep get us from to skipping your car town. From the building, like in the building, you can get to your car. Uh huh. That's... <laughs> this doesn't seem like any place I should be. Okay, so that has a different sound for walking on it. I'm certain there's something down there. What? Never. <laughs> I'm just going like the complete wrong direction for the plot. Why? That's what these games are. Like, hold on. Did you see the game. rope Listen, like disconnect it from is, itself? It is incredibly important that you get familiar with this landscape. Cause you're gonna be back, buddy. I didn't mean to go in here, to be absolutely clear. Once again, you'll be back. Hey, welcome to the stream, bald elephant. Uh, we're up to... <laughs> 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 this game looks so bad, dude. I love it so no, much. No, this game's amazing. Look, look, look. The skeleton bitch. Looks like the boss has gone fishing. Flying away as you walk. Around. Yeah, and that one like over there in the distance. Um, I think those look horrible. I'll be completely honest. Not picking that this up. This game looks amazing. No use for it's it. a 1998 game. Yeah, I get it's 1998, no use for it. but <laughs> look at him go! They're wonderful. Domino uh, locks his window. Fear of pigeons, probably. My man will straight up run in these conditions. That's something else. Oh yeah, just run straight along the ledge. Skella pigeons, yeah, basically. All right, let's take a look at this. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Ah, uh, cripes, Ava, just sign it yourself, will ya? I'm busy. Ava, please! I need a little time alone. Tell them the checks aren't here yet. I'm on the phone. If you buzz me again, I'll swear I'll jump out this window. I'll just change his auto-response here. If you buzz me again, I swear I'll jump out this window! <laughs> That's great. I love that. To all employees of the Department of Death Bureau of Acquisitions, employees who have made their sales quotas are invited to take the Day of the Dead as a holiday, as long as they make up the time lost on the following weekend. Idiota. Bastards. This yeah, is the afterlife? Know. This fucking sucks. I would love to Capitalist search Don's money office right now, but I'm late for the poison. Even in the afterlife, they're here. Oh, okay, so he won't search the office, apparently. I'm late for the poisoning. Don't worry about it, bud. Okay. Um. I'm just a little confused about what's going on over there. It's an easy way to cut you off from anything that, you know, you don't need to go to. Okay, but right there. Do you see right there? 
where the rope is literally <laughs> disconnected from itself. Listen. It's old, I get it. It's old, I get it. I love Deus Ex, okay? I like old things. Alright, um... <laughs> that is nightmare fuel! <laughs> what is that? He's a clown. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? <laughs> Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Yeah, you can you teach me how to do that? that? Well, uh, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! Bang. Bang! Ah! Uh, popped another one. Lousy, bony fingers! I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? What, you don't want a balloon? No. I'm gonna take a look at this barrel, though. Those crates he are just completely fucked up. blocking the sidewalk. He literally just left the screen. A fire? <laughs> he doesn't want to be in this game anymore. He literally just left the video game. They're just full of party favors, and I'm not in the party mood. All right, I'm on this side of the street now. Let's go. Is that gonna cause problems? Okay, yeah. He'll he'll go to the other side of the street. Thank God. Where do I go? I told you, you get your car in the building. Okay. Um. This way? Wait, no, probably not. This way. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, let's take a look Keep at whatever mind, this is. There might be that's not what I told him to do. Inside. What is he doing? You know, I don't know. Let's see. Manny Where decides to do his own thing Uncle Pav, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> <laughs> no, you haven't found the best, most repetitive voice ah, line. Ah, the old so head of the department. Way before my time, I heard he was a total slave driver. I think that's probably a really good joke, but I wouldn't be able to know. There she is, the number nine. One of these days, I'm gonna ride her right on out of here. Sure you will, Manny. Um, okay, so what's over here then? Uh, there's a big old boat. It's locked. <laughs> I'm gonna hear that a lot, aren't I? It's locked. <laughs> no, you'll hear that, but not as much as you think. Why does this exist? This like image, like. Okay. I feel like you need a hint. Right? I don't need a hint. I don't. I don't need a hint. I. I know what I'm doing. Okay. I don't. I don't need a hint. I'll figure it out. You don't need a hint. I don't need a hint. Yeah, it's this one. He hey, I figured it out. I told you I would. Let's get he going, found Manny. The garage. <laughs> Come on, Manny, let's go. Can't go through on foot. People have tried, but they never came back. Damn. That's hard, Manny. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. People have tried, but they never came back. I know they certainly didn't come back alive. Here's what I need. Wheels. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down yeah, by okay, myself. Buddy. Okay, buddy. Um, it's over here. No parking. Hey, service. Hey, who the? Oh my God, he's so oh, big. Sorry, sir. I didn't expect. He's sales so agents chunky. Usually, don't come over to this part of the garage. Uh-huh. Nice, nice hut. hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. 
He, he doesn't need a hint. He needs a hand. <laughs> Shut up, Paul Delavan. If you hate your job, why don't you quit? It's not just a job. It's what I was created to do. If I get any farther away from cars than this, I'll get sick and die. It's like I'm not happy unless I'm breathing in the thick, black, nauseating fumes. <sighs> hmm. Can't imagine. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, back All right. in the shack. Back Mac. in the shack, Mac. Later, Oni. Oni. All right. Well, I thought he was gonna get us a car, but apparently not. Well, you didn't ask him about if he was a driver or anything like that. Well, I mean, he said usually people don't come to this side of the uh, thing. So I'm assuming if I click on the right thing somewhere over here, it'll work out. I'm just out. saying, you're bad at this type of game. Shut up, <laughs> Mike. You're not exhausting your options. Why would I exhaust my options? I hate being exhausted. That means I can't play it again. It's removed from my hand and my deck. Hey, Listen, G pal. All right. You gotta be exhausted somehow. Bro is Girl, thick for real. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. I'm cop. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Hmm. Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. Mm. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Okay. To drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. I thought you said Looks you're not like a driver. I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. <laughs> you want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, This no. is so Sorry, can't rule. horrible. What's horrible about Glottis? His entire head shape is awful. Everything on, about Glottis. I need is you to be great. my driver. No, I can't. Sure. I'm. I'm. I'm too I thought big. you were the one of us that liked absurdism. I. D <laughs> I like absurdism, but I can't. I don't know. I can't. I can't like this thing. You're not too big. You have a self image problem. You're not too big? You're just right. No, they told me again. I'm too big to drive. I'm telling him that second big. one. That second one's You just have a self-image problem. A what? <laughs> Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never <laughs> said I was too fat for the ladies. Just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. I love them. This is the best character in the universe. <laughs> exactly. Lotus is the most important character in the game. Alright. Um. Alright. Screw the rules. Screw Come the with rules. me. Come with me. No! I don't want to get in trouble again. They said one more strike, and I'm out. Well, do you know anyone who can drive? Everybody's gone. It's the this day This game of the isn't dead, full of toxic you know? tryhards yeah, and kill yeah, stealers. I know. Like League, so John needs to adjust. Hey, fuck you, but you're right. That, that <laughs> is his problem. He doesn't actually understand you're the not joy too big. of the single cars are just player too small. story based yeah, experience. Because the only cars, joy he dang, knows is that give me an idea. I could alter your car just to. Okay, with I like single-player games. I love seams, Deus you know? Ex. I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. 
Hey, 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 that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too b Everything around here is just too small. Yeah. Alright, bye, Mac. So, we're just gonna forge a signature, right? Mm, sort of, kind of, maybe. Look, man. I mean, if if you want me to tell you what you're gonna do, I can tell you what you're gonna do. I thought my purpose was to like give signed. hints when you can't figure it well, out. Well, I'm just gonna go back up to uh, like okay. So he said from upstairs. So I'm assuming like I'm just gonna go back to you know the boss's office. Well, you're upstairs right now. Not anymore. Like that. That was the same floor as the boss's office. This is upstairs. All right. Let's see. Uh. Manny goes this way, and Manny go through there. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I know what to do. Oh, okay, what so we gotta do? change. He's out fishing. She doesn't know. We need to change his uh, buzzer response to, damn it, just sign it already just sign it yourself and then I can have her sign it so that I'll have a work order there you go I'm really what good at video games what do you know game. you're a junior puzzler extraordinaire I'm good at video games guys I know what I'm doing well I mean what I'll is that honest. hold on okay next time we go through that Listen. area just because one of the ties has decided to spontaneously float in the air and disassociate from its correct location <laughs> doesn't mean anything at all. Alright, uh, just sign it yourself, all will ya? Right, Dave, just sign it yourself, will ya? I'm, I'm busy! busy. Alright. Alright, so, I mean... <sighs> Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. <laughs> what the fuck? Do I just have a rope now? I didn't uh, mean... It, you have a piece of rope, but it has to stay there. In... Is there any way I can get up that ladder right now? It's almost like if you had a Batman style like hook grappling hook. He said he was gone fishing. I wonder if there's a hook in his office. I would love to search Don's office right okay, now. Okay, well he I'm won't let me search poisoning. Don's office right now, so you know, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Can't Okay, well, the tie is gone now, which is nice. Oh, yeah, this is a great angle. Look at his nice pixelated pol polygonal butt. All right, so, I mean, so first, we're about 30 minutes in. First impressions of the game, it's goofy. I like it. I'm not in any rush. You haven't even gotten the story yet, is the thing. If I really need the boss to sign this work order... I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs his signature on. Ah, oh, great, Dave. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! Hey... We you take wins here. Many. It's probably a also really hard I boss wood puzzle he's got in there today. I just want to point out, Eva. I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. You're well, insane. We all have our secrets. That she doesn't know that the boss is gone. All right. I mean, yeah, she probably knows. Hey, and with my full I, Reaper garb. I love nice. that he wears stilts while in the outfit. Yeah, yeah, I saw that whenever he was taking it off. Hey, I 
look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! How is he gonna make it through? Shadow Wizard Money Game. Hey, Carson. Welcome to the stream. We're playing some Grim Fandango. And it's, uh, it's fucking weird, than but it's fun. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. What, is what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, now we're in the land of the living, a totally normal, uh, normal place. Domino. <laughs> what am I looking at? The creeps. <laughs> yeah, that's where the soul is. <laughs> the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. Boo. Boo. <laughs> this game is amazing. This is the best game I've ever played. Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. <laughs> yeah, oh my this, god. This, this is the land of the living. It's this a totally is... normal place. There's just been a poisoning. This is an unhinged video game. Can I take a burger? Oh my god. Take the burger, please. I can't reap hamburger, cows, or a whole other bureau, not to mention the lettuce. <laughs> not to mention the lettuce? Mm, smells like the perfect client, rich and sweet. Mm. All right. Bound only by the paper thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, mm. struggling to be free. And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. Hell yeah. I can't use my bare hands, I'm a professional. This is one of the few times in the game where you use your sight. Hold on. Yep, there we go. Are you a child? Nice bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. Just a small guy. He's so small. This car a little faster if you want it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, slam the front into the weed, tub the rear end, do blowers, pop it out of the hood. He is a goblin character. Oh, my God. Rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, check it, bud. I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno. But you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait. Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno. But my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sale, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey, now you're blaming the client? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out. Out on the street. No job. No way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. That's rough, Who buddy. <laughs> uh, we just fucking cask of Monte Cristo that guy. I'm sick of waiting around Don't for a Don't worry, good he's being like mailed to in the final location. Time to take one. All right, what do we do now? Well, you need a good sale, like Money, uh, your coworker your Dom knock yourself always. out. I don't know why Manny's Gets using the whole punch. Out, doesn't it? I I just thought he was gonna talk to the lady. 
He's not a goblins. Goblins are him. Goblins wish they were Vladis. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. <laughs> uh. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copal. Okay, so I used to be... The, like, Manny used to be higher up? No, he just used to be a lot better of a salesman. You know, Come on, he, I know he was you work following for the ABC mantra. Always yeah. What are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Alright, let's see here. Oh. Whose office, whose office is this? What the fuck am I looking at? Your coworker. It's Domino Hurley, the sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat this cell, Callie, and you know it. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Callie, how you doing? I wanna ask you something. I wanna ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. <laughs> Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get what I think you could handle, I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit, and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient, then, uh, neither do I. Hold on, so, I don't even know why I'm here? Yeah. Was it a bureaucratic fuck-up? Do you want me? Did I just guess? Did I just you, guess the plot no, line? You did not guess the plot line. I can tell you one thing that will explain so much about this story all at once. It won't give you the details, but it'll make everything make sense. I don't feel like I want to make everything make sense, really. I just realized the skeleton is working out. Welcome to the stream, Holly. Good to see you. Uh, I hope you're doing very well. I I'm just saying, if you want to be able to go through well, this come and back take you things like stride better, in your I have one piece of information I can give you. No, I want to see... I, I want to continue, like, just raw-dogging the delusion, if you know okay. what I mean. <laughs> That's no, a I great totally line. I totally get what you mean. All right, um... So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion for trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo choo, little buddy. Ollie, I see that you've, say, you know, tried you to school? call out his phrasing. He knew exactly what I I knew what I was saying. Uh, your business, Hurley. You're don't right. pay attention what went on to between that. You and, uh, he's he's Bruno a degenerate. It's your business. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Mike. You are too. It's you're just, true. As you're just more as quiet as we, about it. As we discussed recently, your proper place, the place oh, your great. soul was we meant to be, was in the body of a trust fund art school kid. <laughs> and that's that is just the depths of degeneracy. <laughs> I'm just stealing his whiskey. Awesome. Um, what else can I do? I'm gonna steal one of his clients too. Hey Dom, what's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. Hey, get out of there, Calavera. All right. So how do I shoot him and make him stop looking in this direction? Hold on. Hey, Hurl. Yeah. I want to tell, tell you something. Good. 
Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. No, I'm just going to throw everything at him. All right. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I think we should team up, be partners. Oh, man. I want to type more, I would, but I just decided but I'm not to. Too intimidated. I could never yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. Someone who was. No, so no, no, let's hear it. Lay it all out. Oh, Just on. like Manny's doing with wife. Dom right now. I want to punch you in the mouth. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. What happened at the Christmas? What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Got another question for you. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. Yeah, no, I that's a good thing. You. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. All right, so we need a sale. He's got good clients. We need to somehow. <laughs> hey, man, what's up? Why? <laughs> hey, man, what's good? <laughs> Oh um, my gosh, you know what that reminds me of? What? Read him already. Uh, Didn't help. It takes, not it takes two, uh, a way out. Just like walking <laughs> eyes on the camera. Uh, do we need a suck up for the suck up? No, we're gonna kick his ass. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. I'm assuming this is just gonna go, no, it doesn't go out the window. Okay. Oh, that's too far off the side of my screen. Yeah, computer time. I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. All right. Um. Do you need guidance? No, I'm gonna break into the boss's office and then see what I can do. Because now, I'm not too late for the point. <laughs> Whatever it closes up on his face, like. I can't. I can't do it, man. It's too goofy. Look, those fixed camera angles are just real professional. Well, I mean, it was 1998. What's your favorite character? That is such a hard question. Out of all of the fiction? You and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the, the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. I mean, I know my answer to favorite character from anything, but it's a reference that I'm not accounting on everybody to get. Okay. Bruno? You in one of these? Must have picked them up already. Huh, okay. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. One of the chemicals for our packing material okay, comes out of there. Okay, we get it, man. Why can I do this? Ugh, that smell. It's a lump of our packing foam. What the he Okay, so I'm gonna create a circular thing, put it in the tube switcher. Whenever he gets annoyed again, go in there and steal one of his uh, clients. You're not far off. It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. The music's pretty good. All right.
right. Um. I'll be taking this. <laughs> Not for any particular reason. I just decided I wanted to. Yeah, and I guess um, we'll head out for now. Because I want to go to the boss's office. Yeah. Where does he? Where does he store it to? Yeah, I mean, it's in my suit jacket. It's, it's in my ribs. I, I put it in my ribs. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Yeah, as I said, I'm gonna be hearing that a lot, huh? No use for it. No use for it. Okay, dude. No, not while Domino's in there. So I need Domino out of there. I think. There's nothing up here I can actually do. I need to do something with the tube switcher. What's the carnival got for me? Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Let's go. Um, cool, I have bread now. I'm having a bread moment. He's got a twist me up large them, huh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bet you can't do a cat. Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. <laughs> Dead worm or Robert Frost? He said famous poets. But Dead Worm is really funny. You can get Frost plenty. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! I want the dead worm as well, please. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, oh, jeez. What now? A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. <laughs> There's no limit hey, maybe on those. You should get two dead worms. I don't like that you're telling me that. Fucking brain blast. What if we put the foam inside of the balloon, the dead worm? That's not what balloons are for. Wow, you just had to. That's not what balloons are for. You know, you just had to have somebody point out. You I don't got the balloons for now. it. My kid. Jeez. All right, anyways, have any more dead worms back there? dead worms back there? Well, sure. All right, um, yeah. Uh, and we're an hour in now. That's not uh, what balloons are for. That's not what balloons are for. Shut up, Manny. What's his name yet? Manny Caldera? Manny Calvera. Calvera, okay. Also, this dude came in here. No, wait. No? How do I. The weirdest thing about that, his name being Manny Calvera. Uh, this deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, I so thought am I. No, I was going to make a suits. joke about how he shares a name with the main character of El Tigre. Yeah. But. That kid's name is not Manny Calvera. It's Manny Rivera in the city of Calvera. Uh-huh. All right, so you is select. Which just, when I realized that, frustrated me to no end because I thought I had a really good little fun fact ready. <laughs> that's, that's not what I, I just pressed you and it did that. Yeah, that's because this game used to paint <laughs> controls. It, it Chat, no. No. 
It's an aubergine. <laughs> yeah, it's something, man. It's, a, it's an eggplant. <laughs> I gotta say, I love the inventory system. I'm a big fan. Alright, so we've got one of each now. Now, how do you get that into the system? Well, I could always use my, um... My pipe. What's wrong? An oversized long, long grape. Yeah, that's what it is. It's not where I want to go. They're not random substances. They're particularly chosen substances for their physical properties. Daddy's. <laughs> hey, Manny, what's up? Okay. He's just there being a professional. Now there's a bit up ahead <laughs> that, uh. Look out below. There's a bit up ahead that I'm tempted to uh, give you advice on when, it, when you get to it. Yeah. Because it's one of those things that you do the first time, or like if you know exactly what you're supposed to do, you can do it the first time. Or you might have to do it the second time because you just screw it up. Yeah. Do you want me to that hand advice? Good. Um, I don't know what I do. I think I just like go to, um, I just go down to the pipe thing, right? Yeah, basically. Server's down again. What else is new? What else is new? Oil? What do you mean, oil? Why would oil have a weird physical trait? They're, they're talking about, uh, sus lumps of random substances. They're chemicals, Ollie. That's all you have to know. They're chemicals. Hi. I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. Just curious. How'd you get in there? I squeezed out one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Can I squeeze in there, just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. So special about so you. So special about you. I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No. I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. All right. So how long is it gonna be down? So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Say, uh, chatty Cathy, I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey. Me too. I'll let you go. Why he got that? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, dude. Go ahead. Go ahead, say what you're gonna say. 
blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of... Okay, that is not what I told Man Manny. What are you doing? Uh oh. Good enough for government work. Okay. Do I put the fire extinguisher goop into another balloon? Do you want the answer to that? Give me a give me a quick hint. Like if the answer is yes, tell me yes. Okay. You did everything right but one thing. And what's that? You have you have to somehow make sure that you can get in there when he leaves. Do I use the deck of cards? Not for this. I need to be able to make sure I can get out whenever he leaves. Yeah. Do I fucking kill him? <laughs> no. I can tell you if you want, because it's an incredibly simple thing that you're probably not going to think of. I give you a sandwich and you let me go? Eh? He got really quiet, guys. I think I might have been right. No. You're not right. I'm just waiting for you to ask for the simple answer that you'll never think of. Well then, if I'm not gonna think of it, how am I gonna ask about it, moron? You just ask for the answer. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, okay, what's the answer then, Mike? Okay, so the only lock that door had on it was a dead bolt, right? Yeah, so you use a deck of cards to stop the bull from going through. No, because he only goes to close it whenever you leave. So you can't do that. But can a door close if the deadbolt is out? That is so fucking dumb. Yeah, and you never would have thought of it, would you? No, I, no, I wouldn't have. That's why I'm on standby with the wall. My kid because uh, he's gay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, give me another dead worm, buddy. That's not what balloons are for. That's not what balloons are for. Shut up, Manny. There's a certain voice line you can get with the Robert Frost balloon that I really hope you get. My kid died. Alright. Do you have any Yeah, give me another dead well, worm. Sure. Well sure. Okay. Let's go, Manny. <laughs> His whole body paused the running animation. <laughs> and so it was just his legs moving at like a sprinting pace. Yeah. While the rest of him just like was chill. What, you can't do that? Next no. Next tell me you can't walk, you know, moving one full half of your body at a time. It's not what I wanted to do. I... Manny, what are you doing, buddy? I'll be right back. You're, you know, this is filler content. This is just filler content as you try to... You know, I mean, it is filler content. You're not yeah, yeah. wrong. I'll be right back. If only I had a nice glass of water right now. Let's see. Robert Frost, dead worm. Okay, anyways. Da, 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 da. Up the elevator. 
This is the bad part about streaming. Sometimes I can't always be entertaining, guys. And now that my co-host is gone, I have to actually talk to you people. Crazy how that works, right? Dude, my hair's so pretty, though. Like, I, I, it kind of needs cut, because, like, look how long it is, guys. I've really grown it out. <laughs> hey, Manny, what's going on? Welcome back to the podcast with myself, John of the Page, and my great friend, Manny uh, Caldera, here. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, your passageway into the afterlife. Mike is gone. Yes, uh, unfortunately, he has passed, and we are all mourning the loss. I hate how it wiggles. <laughs> yeah, no, Mike's gone for the moment. He'll be back in a moment. Ugh. Uh... Yeah, just jam it in. Alright, we've all seen it before. I dislike this squeaky noise as well. You don't like the squelching of the... <laughs> Down you don't again. like this squelching of the mysterious fluid? I don't know why you wouldn't like that. We're gonna save the game right here. Fuck. The wheel won't budge. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Yet symbolically compelling. I love that, dude. All right. Hey, I'm still not getting. I'm giving. Hey, I'm. St I'm giving you one right now, but you can't see my hand. Hey, I'm back for a hot minute. All right. Well, in other news, we've gained two viewers since you were gone, so... Oh, wow, clearly. I, I was telling a buddy of mine today, I don't know why you want me on, I'm just a brand rest. Like, Good enough for see, I go away to pick up viewers. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. I got the deadbolt done. Well, you're good you got that dumpy, though, for real. We need that as a... A channel emote? What? His fat ass? Yeah. Well, they ain't made this. Yeah, so... Scrolling away. The line, I've just locked an open door. Strange, but symbolically compelling. That is a great line. Oh, this game's full of... That red tube looks familiar. What do I do now? <laughs> my hair, it's locked. One more time. You're gonna more sophisticated and delicate than myself. Was he yeah, rapping the... there? Eminem better watch out. As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. Okay, so I use the deck of cards for this. Uh oh. Okay, can I... How are, you, how are you gonna reduce the air pressure on it? I mean, I would assume cover up the fans, right? Well, no, because the air pressure is in the tube. This is another one, like... Oh, I'll tell you this, you've interacted with the answer. Uh-huh. I've interacted with it. I don't know what that means. How am I gonna... It means that you walked up to it and like messed with the answer all right is it some of the goop can i put the goop no. on a card no you're done with goop. i'm done with the goop it's locked <laughs> i'm gonna go insane the line delivery for it's locked is just that's something else man 
There's a reason I've been telling you to play this game forever. Okay. Um. Can you give me like a. Can you give me like an idea of where it is? Okay, so. I I'll give you a hint in talking about like air pressure, right? Too much air pressure. One thing that can help with air pressure is if there's holes for the air to go through. As if there. Do you want me to make holes? Well, you're sticking a playing card in there. Ah! Ah! I see! The man had a brain blast. I mean, I'm just gonna say, if I hadn't accidentally touched the tiny, tiny bar on this woman's desk, and he said, can I use your hole punch? Like, okay, this game is kind of incredibly bullshit, though. Like, I'm really enjoying it, but, like, that's so bullshit. This is Manny, what the are you doing? Just marking cards puzzle on. game to end all puzzle games, in my mind. Like, it is the big one. But that means that it falls into all the issues of the genre. It's, I will say it's good. It's really good. I've been having a pretty great time. I can firmly say I would be having an awful time if I was not sitting here with you. Um, well, it helps that I have played this game and watched three playthroughs of this game. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, I still have the walkthrough open because if you continue this game long enough, you will hit points where I have to just tell you, hey, you don't get to play the game right now. You get to follow instructions, or else we're going to be here for a couple of straight attributes. Volunteer time reading stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're in, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Okay. Cutscene time. What got into you? That was a company car. I love him. Glottis is wonderful. He's the Who's most on? Character. Is that us? Oh hell yeah, dude! <laughs> That's devilish. Well, he is literally a demon. You're not the nurse. No. You're not here to give me my medication. No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche, I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was... I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Only place implication here is that I'm fired. That's funny. Just, just blame this woman who's been like a saint for all your problems. That's the true masculine way, isn't it? <laughs> I shouldn't have saluted that. <laughs> I hate you did John, I'm steeping this in irony. To try I know, to but it was too funny not to. Masculinity. <laughs> you just pop off an 07 real quick. Like, oh my god. Listen, sometimes I can't control myself and I say, and you know, I do something stupid. I <laughs> sometimes you have a heated gamer moment. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. You are a capital G gamer, that is true. <laughs> Gamers rise up. Anyways, uh, the only Im implication the only here implication is, that I'm fired. is that I'm fired. Is it something I did? Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Quite a bit? That's such a- That's a fucking killer line. This game is full of killer lines. 
Uh, I mean, <laughs> did you kill much when you were alive? <laughs> uh, did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. That's not no. Never killed anybody. I have to confess, I never killed anybody. <laughs> the best Even lines in this game bit come of killing. From just maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Going through every line. Sometimes the best lines of this game come from just being an ass and being like, "Are you sure you didn't kill anyone?" Well, yeah, but that involves going through every line. Like, oftentimes there'll be additional lines that you unlock if you just say everything. Yeah. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh, no. I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Litter? Oh, man. Is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry. Was that not like heavy flirting? Am I delusional? I mean, I, mean, <laughs> I could do something bad right now. Listen, Woman, listen. we are skeletons. We like you, you bones. Know, you know, full, like more trope of. Things went from bad to worse when that dame walked into my office. Wow. Right? Yeah, no, that that is like this single line from the like noir era that gets like used in everything. I wasn't that in cars too as well? I think it was. <laughs> what I, what I'm getting at is this game is a beautiful hybrid of like actual um actual Mexican like noir detective stuff. stuff yeah no, no, i was going to say actual mexican indigenous beliefs and stuff like that and like in uh some behind the scenes stuff with the head of double fine yeah uh, i think his name is tim schaefer he said that one of the biggest sources of inspiration for the game was the movie casablanca really yeah so i mean you ever cheated on your taxes i've never paid taxes in my life aha uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh-huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have there's to... There's no skin, skin on it either. Don't say that, Manny. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much Oh, trouble, okay, I guess I ran out of the lines. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. All right. Oh, well, what are you doing, Manny? Come on. Manny goes where Manny pleases. <laughs> I hate that close-up angle. I let you down, Manny. Ah, she's a sweet lady. Domino's door is locked. Interesting. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! She's so sweet. She is great. Give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed in here. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. We left about 15 minutes ago. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to see if you got her. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine! Why does she think she has to walk? It's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients the domino! That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest. 
facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Hello, Cat Beans. Hey, Cat Beans. Welcome back. Stay put till the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me. Was it just okay? Hold on, I need to clip that. Cause was it just me, or does his head weird? And uh, it went irrit. It went irrit. It was weird. I don't know how to explain it. I mean, it sort of moved position when it snapped out of the cutscene. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, welcome, Cat Beans. It's great to see you again. I hope you're doing very well, huh? Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. I don't see anyone out there. Hmm. It looks like it dispenses something called philodent. Philodent. Alright, um. What else can I click on? What do I have? Got my cards, I got a fire extinguisher. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. Don't say it's locked. Hey, anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who am I talking to? The second best character in the game. After the Wallace. second best character in the game. Okay. I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. The DLD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> the <laughs> Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. That's nice. I like that. You like that you got to meet the communists, huh? Intelligence unit, you know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions mm -hmm. is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on treacherous trail of tears unprotected and I gotta hop for a second like I'll be right yeah back. man it's all good we're pretty immersed in the story right now what's your evidence that's where you come in just you know if you can't figure something else Agent out there. try to My figure it out at least make content I'm not looking just, I'm not I'm not a content machine my boy get back in the mines Eve oh <laughs> The best part about that is number one, I'm still holding the bread. Number two, I missed out on the entire conversation because I'm a goober. I'm a little goober gambling, and I was talking with my brother rather than paying attention to the game. You know, looking in the looking. <laughs> you love bread. What kind of bread do you like, dude? Like. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna take a moment to talk to chat. So I was considering moving over to YouTube rather than Twitch. Because YouTube offers, like, better growth. Sourdough. That is a great choice. I love sourdough bread. But, like, my first stream back and nine people are here to watch me screw around on a point-and-click adventure game. So, like, that wouldn't be a this is very reassuring. You know what I mean? Bread. I appreciate every one of you. Um, actually, we're about an hour and 30 in. 
I might take a small break to grab water because we're about halfway through the stream. We'll see what happens though. Um, but yeah, I appreciate every that one of you. Be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. Oh yeah, let me put the bread away. It's a slide projector. It's a slide projector. Where does this go? To a secret tunnel out of the city. But it opens for members of the LSA only. This computer shut off. We salvaged that unit when the company threw it away. But we have yet to get it working. When we do, we'll need you to get us into the system. I'll be long gone before then. We'll see, Manuel. Salvador seems to be concentrating. His name is Salvador. Salvador Allende. Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. Hmm. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. All right. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No. I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. All right. I need to get their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. I'm off. Farewell, Agent Calavera. And viva la revolucion! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Salvador Allende. My man. Oh, man. What's over here? All right. So their nest is probably at the very top. Oh, no. The door's open. Did they fire him, too? Hey, what did they do with Glottis? Man, that's not okay. I love Glottis. All right. Let's see what we got in here. It's locked. At least he said it different this time. It's not, it's locked. It was, it's locked. Someone add the metal pipe sound effect. That bing, bing, bing. All right. Um. Yeah, nothing really in here you can click, so. Unfortunately, away we go. Hello? This way. Thank you. I don't think... Nah. Okay. Let's just try and head up to the floors up there. Because they're probably not going to let me in through the front door or anywhere else. So, yep. Up, buddy. I swear the colors change every time I climb up them. He said he'd literally die if he wasn't breathing the fumes. Maybe. I mean, the the pipes guy. <laughs> Look at that one over there. <laughs> this game's so fucking janky, dude. No use for it. All right, that open. No use for it. Is that open? Nope. I don't know. I don't think he's yet. Mm. Tom's office is empty. All right. So we're heading in through Don's office. Let's see what we got here. Whiskey. Shall we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Never doubt it. If you know what that's a reference to, I love you. What the? There's something glowing in there. It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. Cool. I like the noise it makes. Um, what's going on over here? Did something fall off? 
It's knocking that around. Ugh, Domino had this in his mouth. I'm still keeping it. Screw your mouth, God boy. Oh, hey, let's check Domino's computer. Might as well. I'm going to try to guess his password. Nope. It's not Golden Boy. Ha. Oh, come on. Let me off the screen, buddy. He's got a lock on it. Can't believe he doesn't trust me. <laughs> okay, how do I get out? Exactly? Help! Help me! Oh, what's going on over here? No use for it. Can always just keep drinking. No messages in Dom's fancy red tube. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I just had to use the keyboard. Alright, so... Let's grab this. I don't know. Our arms are kind of wigging out on that one. No, I mean, like, damn it. All right, inventory. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if that's how Domino meant it to be used. Rope. I don't feel... Oh, my God. He just really went for it there. All right. Yeah! I'm feeling it. Oh. You want me to click again? Okay, dude. I, interesting. Got a lot of dead pigeons. This is a cutscene? I can't move. Egg time. Well, I prefer to eat out of clean dishes that aren't nailed to the roof. <laughs> Shoot. not on fire that's not on fire okay i think i know what you need to do here what do you think ah if i just hand it to him i'm liable to lose a finger or two i thought on it at the i thought of it the same time you did holly So that didn't turn off very well. Also, the game seems to be frozen right now. Um. Huh. Okay, so. Hmm. It's gotta be something with the. It's gotta be something with like the stickiness, right? Don't so what worry, I'm the thinking. Tutorial is back. Great, because I need to go to the restroom. Michael, provide entertainment. How am I supposed to provide entertainment when I can't even like move things around? Okay. <laughs> Chat, what stupid stuff has he said? I heard that he completely missed the whole story. Love you, story Michael, line. thank you. Uh 
you know what what is the chat unclear about at this time did he wave did he wave any of the balloons at the pigeons that's the important thing to me there's a specific interaction you can get waving the balloons at him that I'm just I want to see his reaction mid bread talk what was he saying about bread Honestly, he's probably more competent to discuss bread than I am. But I can talk about bread because I'm a, you know, bread enthusiast in the sense of enjoying bread. Hey, Ash, how you doing? Didn't do anything with balloons yet. Okay. I will just have to encourage him to shake balloons at pigeons. You know, if we're lucky and he keeps the pace up, we might get to watch him uh, break Lotus's back by the end of the night. Use the bread and the pigeons attacked you. Okay. Well... Believe it or not, chat, he's on the right track. Yes, Holly, we might get to break Glottis's back by the end of the night. Isn't that exciting? Oh, don't worry, they're just very close friends, that's all, Holly. No reason for concern. What was the actual bread talk, though? He was talking about bread? Someone stepped on a crack. Elephant, that would imply that it was uh, Glottis' child and that Glottis is capable of being a mother. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and type this one as a response to you, Holly. Hi, Mike. Did you start reading them the Communist Manifesto? No, I tried to ask about... Uh, what you'd gotten up to. What was the bread talk? Huh? I just did bread. That's all I did. So there's pigeons up there. Oh, they I get to the they, roof. They, they, yeah, yeah, they, they can't see your stuff, John. Bread to honor the dead. They still have the flesh ball. They have the what? They still have the flesh ball on stream. Oh, whoops. They shouldn't. Not anymore. Alright, anyways. Will it let me goo the bread now? Be you know what you should do with the pigeons? What? Bread. You should try waving some balloons at them. Balloons can be very scary and squeaky with the high-pitched noises that they make. Okay, so I, I, I get it. I get it. Dead Worm. Also Robert Frost. Because that's the um, dialogue you were talking about earlier. Right? I don't know. Is it? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm just trying to give help, John. 
You're doing a great job. I'm just piecing it together really quickly. Oh, it's almost like there. you aren't as stupid as you try to make out that you are. My kid what do you mean? I'm a moron. I'm like Hassan, Michael. I'm a moron. All right, hold on. Hassan is the most intelligent moron ever. Yeah. He's just like me, for real. Hold on, I, I, dude, I gotta fix my hair. It's so fucking me up. Speaking of uh, now I look like I'm balding. That are left wing. I was yeah. listening to uh, the newest episode of the Deep Program today. Yeah. And uh, it was the one where they had FD signifier. On. Yeah. Do you have any more dead ones? I didn't well, realize so. that his uh, his anime video was so recent. You said something about me almost verbatim quoting his anime video on My accident. Kid, uh, yeah, no. So, uh, it was like uh, only a couple months ago at most. Well, no, like a couple weeks ago even. Yeah, they they got talking about anime. Is why I brought it up because evidently it was recent. I was just like, oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. I haven't started watching this stuff yet. I just. Uh, I think that anyone who watches anime should experience some small level of shame that they have to process. Michael, you watched JoJo. Be ashamed. I, I'm not excluding myself from this. <laughs> it's just if you watch anime, there should be that small level of shame there. That's pretty that ethnocentric, to... brother. Hello, dead worm? Buddy. Yeah? It has nothing to do with the Eurocentric uh, centrism of it or anything like that it has everything to do with the fact that both of the producers and consumers of anime there is an over uh, over represented amount of freaks what are you gonna do dude my forehead is so big it's because i have so many thoughts guys look at this look at this massive thing look at it I'm having so many thoughts in this thing. It's not the company site, it's our site. Wants another balloon animal. Uh, geez, what now? That's what Do you have dead Mexican dead worms Castro was Look, trying to tell you. If I give you any more of those, the, you'd be able to go in the business for you yourself. So forget it. Revolution. So I can't get any more dead worms, apparently. My kid uh, wants an Holly, that's hilarious. A dingo? That's my specialty. John, why are you having me on as a special guest? You should have had Holly on. Ta -da. She doesn't like speaking. She is amazing, though. Some of my fun. She's better than me. Oh, she shut up, Mike. You just have, like. Some of my fun. Okay, no, work. hold on. Let me put this away. Anyway, and get back to my point. You just have, like, very negative self image, brother. My kid, uh, Okay. No problem. This is another one of those things where you're never going to think of the answer. But when you do think of the answer, or when I tell you the answer, it's going to be so obvious. My kid, uh, uh, hmm. Bet you can't do Robert Frost again. Hey, did you lose the one I gave you? No. Well, then just enjoy it for a while longer, all right? <laughs> Did you lose the one I gave you? <laughs> oh my god. That is so funny, dude. This game is fucking killer funny, dude. Mate, you haven't even gotten to any of the best parts yet. Did you lose the one I gave you? Wait. Alright. Anyways. You have met the best character, the second best character. And the third best character. Yeah, it's Salvador Allende. His name is not Salvador Allende. It's Salvador. <laughs> His name isn't Salvador Allende, but as far as I'm aware, that's who it is. Well, me. That is... Anyways, um... No, 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 go ahead. Be my guest.
That's not. Yeah, that is what I'm I wanted. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You have to go wave balloons at pigeons. I believe you. I I fully believe you. You should. I shouldn't. They're sticky John. now. No, you shouldn't believe me. Just because you're a pathological liar doesn't mean that I am incapable of it. <laughs> my brother really does love exposing my mental issues to the entirety of my stream. You exposed my first and last name. You <laughs> doxed me. Like, I forgot I did that. Off your... Get off your high <laughs> You mark. exposed my first and last name. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> Why does he stop there? Obviously, I want you to go all the way up. I swear to God. Ugh. I, I love how much this game loves to make you wait. It loves to make you wait. Yeah. It's all part of the process. It's all part of the experience. Well, it's because it was made in like 19 something. No, no. Let's be real here. More games need to like make people wait. I mean, I can see where you're coming from. It can't all be about instant gratification. Alright, Robert Frost, do your worst. Run, you pigeons! It's Robert Frost! <laughs> right. That line delivery is so good, man. I'm just so glad that that line got you the way I was hoping it would. Mm, they don't look scared. I think they're actually laughing at me. Hey, fuck you, pigeons. Oh, maybe that will scare them. Eventually. Can I put more than one in there? I want it to be Robert Frost as well. You have to keep Robert Frost. Fine, I'll keep Robert Frost. The boys stumbled onto the answer. Shut up, Mike. We put the bread in there earlier. Yeah, you put the bread in there, but that doesn't mean that you had the answer, did it? I knew what it was going to do. I think I know what you... Oh, you already know. It's okay, Holly. You're a great help. Holly. You're... Yeah. So that's where the vermin come from. You must come with me, young one. I mean, for he can I am do it once or twice without you. But let's be real. Man, are those pigeons gonna be you you're, you're the person that, you know, when there's ten Man, are viewers, those pigeons you're gonna one of be them. Ticked. When there's one viewer, it's you. When there's no viewers, you are no longer on Earth. <laughs> if 63B3B that, dub has though. no viewers, I am not here. If 63B <laughs> dub has one viewer, it's me. On God, and that's, that's Holly that's the for only real. Reason he's still doing this. So, unironically, yes. Literally, yes. Him as a content producer is, you know, the second most important thing about this stream. Holly and does that carry the streams. Of purple chat is the most important part. <laughs> uh, I've said as much, by the way. I have said as much. Hello? Salvador Allende? That's a communist, right? Salvador Allende? Mm, I mean, it's one of those what's the difference between communist and socialist type deals. I don't he was overthrown them. by a U.S. backed uh, fascist coup in Bolivia, so, right? No, Chile. 
Chile. Oh, that was yes. A, that was oh, yeah. brain blast. Night, uh, September 11th, 1978, yeah, right? Uh, that was yeah, whenever... Yeah, September 11th, 1978, the first 9-11. Yeah. Don't worry, Angie. There's a bunch of us. Check these babies out. Ooh, show those to Salvador. Where? He's not in the corner. Oh, yeah, he is. He's just blending in really well. Man, that camo works. It's the Check military. these babies out. Yeah. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. All right. Um, where do I put the eggs? He took the eggs. Yes, computer shut off. Um, let's take a look at the wire ring. It's kind of like an extension cord. Um, like okay, he just says it's shut off. Yeah, he told you what the next thing they need is. They need your dental information. Manuel, I was looking at that. Where am I gonna? Where am I gonna get that? Well, usually. Your dental information is like an impression of your teeth, right? Oh, okay, so I just need a blowtorch. Why would you need a blowtorch? Uh, you know, to heat this up. What even is that? It's his mouth. It's, uh, Dale Gribble's mouth guard. Okay, um. <laughs> not Dale Gribble. I forgot his name. Seen... Don Quixote. It's not Don Quixote. It's Domino Harvey. That's the same. Those are the same names. You just said the same name oh. twice. You lying uh, bastard. I love, how deli <laughs> I love how delusional you are. Um, it's so it's what gives me the else, eight viewers I have is my crazy schizophrenic <laughs> delusions. Eight? More like 800 if I just pretend. <laughs> if I pretend there's two more zeros there. can't pretend three though. I'm not that smart. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, I'm assuming it's somewhere inside of these, but I don't know how to get these, like, now, open. Now, have you found anything else that might be able to fill up a gap and take an impression of something? No. <laughs> you were so... You were, like, putting your hand to the <laughs> burner. You were so hot. Wait, what do you mean? You were right there. <laughs> it was... You were on the cusp of greatness. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know... <laughs> it's this, right? <laughs> it's got teeth. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's that's like correct. Good for dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. Huh. That's now neat. use it. Oh. Like activate it with the little Ooh! He jump! Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth and the quite a chalky aftertaste too. All right, so, the but like, part. that's the indent part. Like, if it needs my teeth information, then I'll need like, you know, the normal. They can part. use it as a mold, John. It's well, yeah, mold. but I. Listen, man, I thought maybe I'd have to use the mold. That's this that's kind of game. That might interest you. Oh my gosh, the best part about that is when you first like examine the goo machine. And he called it Philodent, right? And they keep calling it your dental information. I don't want to mess up my tooth cast. I'm not sure what to make of that. Why don't you show it to my intelligence officer? My secretary? Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of what your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. 
just like a thought. Why do the women in this game have like breast parts? They are literally ribs. Buddy, you must go to the town of Humankind is not meant to receive. They have fake boobs. This actually just takes place in a universe where boobs are made out of bones. Holly says it's where the weapons are concealed. <laughs> How are you going to be a true revolutionary if you're not armed? Love, love is for the living, sir. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. Oh, cool. We're in like the lands of Sauron now. That was some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. Okay, buddy, we <laughs> That's a noise. God is my friend. Is you don't know Maddie? Oh, Maddie, they fired me. <laughs> hey man, can you knock it off like for real though? Me too, buddy. You don't understand, Maddie. I was created just to do that job. It's the only thing that makes me happy. It's like they reached into my chest and pulled out my heart and threw it into the woods. Gladys, what have you done? What the oh, fuck Gladys. is this game? That is something well, else, man. I gotta get over there immediately. Before they eat his heart. Oh no. Ooh, ick. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't this work, right? Cake. Wait, hold on. Was I actually supposed to use that? Hi, Chihuahua. Interesting. Don't think that's gonna work. I guess I could always use a spare. <laughs> What's a skeleton's favorite snack? Soup's on. <laughs> they don't seem very interested in that bone I put in there. <laughs> Here's the thing. You're like right there. The answer is now There's already a bone in there. I like to save bones for special occasions. I like to save bones for special occasions. All right, so you're not just supposed to pull out a bone anywhere. Come on. Hey guys, want to see my bone? They're right here. For special occasions. I love the splash. Spiders. No more demon hard to. Oh, I skipped some dialogue. Whoops. Good job. I mean, that's the same splat that's used in Toby Fox's Delta Rune, which I think is pretty neat. I can't say I know Toby. anything about Delta. It's pretty cool. I like it. Can I just put it in his yeah. mouth. Oh, okay. Cutscene time. Mr. Lamaz, I assure you the missing woman will be found. I will personally track her down myself, just like you. Personally picked her up from the land of the living. That was my intention, but Agent Calavera somehow got to her first. We gave you the fastest car, Domino. We gave you all the best clients. You had all the advantages. So how was this Calavera able to sneak in there and eat? 
can't get too mad at Domino. That wasn't his fault. Oh, I can, Dom. You should know I can get too mad. But not at Domino. <laughs> After all, he wasn't in charge of this operation. At least, not until now. Hector, no! Oh my god. Are they drilling into him? Tulips. Well, they used to kill of their eyes, eh, Domino? Why don't you personally go down to the basement and escort him up here? The sooner he's sprouted and we can get back to business, the better. Wanna go for a ride? He became I bone meal. So ends. true. Alright. That is... Oh, do I have control? Yo! <laughs> Interesting. Let's go. Now, I'm, I love this room. I love what this room means for you. What, this what? That room with all the pathways, I love what it means for you. What does it mean? That I'm gonna have to go through each one of these and then go through a maze? Go, go through every bit of it as many times as you like. Oh no. Oh no. There is an answer. It's another one of those that you will never get. Hey, wait a second. Okay. Wait, hold on. This just seems to be pretty normal so far. Okay. Okay, that's something else. There's so many options. Yeah, there's a lot of options. Alright, so that's... Three that come out of the same hole? Unless it's random? I don't think it's random. Okay, and then this, this one comes out of the first one, I think. Well, that's the second one on that side. Wait, hold on, is there one back here as well? Oh my god, yeah. there's so many. Yeah, there's a bunch of options. Here's the, here's the truth of the matter. This room has an answer. You'll never get it. Yeah, I don't think I will. I really don't think I will. The fucking hey, Scooby-Doo right. room. The best part is, I have seen the answer this entire time. I can see it at this moment. Is it BS? Also, is it loud for anyone else? Or is it just loud for me? I couldn't tell you. Gladys? Manny, check out this wheelbarrow, will ya? With a couple of ATV nubby tires on the back and a two-stroke lawnmower engine, we could make one sweet go-kart. Hmm. Now this is one that, uh, you might be able to just figure Ooh, out. careful, Manny! With the harmonic balancer turned off, those pumps might shake that tree apart. Oh, but... Oh! If we shook the tree down, those pumps would dislodge, and I could make high lift shocks out of them for the bone wagon. Hold on, I'm going to unbalance that wheel with some of these weights. That'll shake it down for sure. Did I do it? No, okay, no, you haven't. Just done. give me a second to balance these doggies. So, the goal is to make it as unbalanced as possible. Why don't you I just... You can also turn the wheel back on now. That should do it. You waited too long. Still 
not enough. And maybe if I move them around a little. I was I was gonna like hey, just throw that, something at him. That was my idea. But I guess I yeah, you're right, I could just turn it back on. Yeah. There's also another step that you'll have okay, to do to make it as unbalanced as possible. To these doggies. Hey, Benny, what are you doing? Outside of the entertainment value, that didn't do what I had hoped. Would you like to hear the other step, or do you think you can figure it out? Oh, uh, let's see if I can figure it out to start out. Manny. Just remember, you have, you know, plenty of components I here to the mess up. I don't want to take all the fun away from Gladys. I mean, I don't... Nothing over there is really letting me mess with it. Can I just ram this into... Ooh, ooh, ooh. When I'm on what? When you're on one of those little hoses. I think I was already on one. You, you, well, you did it on accident. Yeah, on accident, right, guys? Manny, until now we scraped along the ground like rats. But from now on, we soar. Like eagles. Yeah. Like eagles on pogo stick. I love him. What a relief. I was getting concerned that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in. Or are you afraid of heights? Okay, so give me the solution to this room over here, because I'm not figuring it out, okay. man. Stop going into it. Like, go back out. Go back out. You see that signpost? That one right there? Yep. Get out of the bone wagon, pick up the signpost, and take it in there. He is a weird creature. You like go in there like for like this? Yeah. When you use the little interact button, you can put it down. The goal is to get the signpost to where it's pointing to. Well, I can't pick it up again. Now I can. Okay. Well, it's pointing somewhere. What do you mean to get it to where it's pointing to? It's pointing in like a million ways. The well, main pointing somewhere. thing on it is pointing in a certain direction. Put it down closer that direction. Is it going to do the thing? Okay, so it wants to go up. Manny. Well, you got it. Can I ride the car down there? Honestly, <laughs> just the stupidest. I I hate that puzzle. I do. Yeah, that puzzle's dumb as hell. All right, get in the car. Yeah, teleport in there, boss. Oh, so I can't drive the car in there. Got it. Uh, enter. That's how I get out. I thought you could drive the car in. It wouldn't let me. So what's in here? An ancient civilization? Oh, I can't. It 
Looks like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their buck-toothed king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Can't pass up an old creepy key. All right, so I have a key to the gates of hell now? Oh, wait, hold on. God, this looks like something out of Fallout 1. That doesn't look like the gates of hell to me. It doesn't do much by itself. Oh, <laughs> glad he's here. Manny, what are you doing? Hey, don't sneak <clears throat> up on me like that. Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny. They'll make you into a dam. Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny, they don't use wood. Oh, I think I'm about to die. I didn't save for a, for a long time. Oh no. With those monsters on the other side, I'm happy with this thing locked. Listen, listen, John. Those beavers have never gone nowhere, hit them. With those monsters on the other side, I'm happy with it this won't, thing locked. He won't let me. With those monsters on the other side, he won't let I'm me unlock happy it. With this thing locked. Is that the key? It's the key. Yeah, look at it. With those monsters on the other like side, the I'm happy with it. Doesn't do much by itself. The crap, that is the key. Hold on, let's double check. I got nothing else. Wait. Oh, uh throw some bones around that's not on fire that's not on fire uh okay i suppose i can go back and grab some bones you still have one. Oh, do i yeah oh yeah bone i like a bone and they're on no fire place for a you got all the there. tools you need This one. I'm carrying around too many of those already. These monsters have made a dam out of human bones. Get your fire extinguisher ready. Uh oh. Yeah. Do the little air rack. It wouldn't let me. <laughs> no, in the bottom corner. That's not on you fire. Have a That's not on fire. Yeah, I know. Okay, well I don't have a bone anymore, so. Well, no, it's still oh, there. there. You got your bait, and you got your fire extinguisher. So I just gotta wait. Yeah, it's that one. No, wait, hold on. Manny, don't do that. Alright. I am the Terminator. There's still a couple 
back there. Actually, I think that's what the bone is for, to like, get that one. Or maybe you have to run all the way across and like, go that's not on around fire. the side. That's not on I fire. Yeah, I can't quite remember. You know, from the last time mean? I played this. When was the last time you played this? Never. Exactly. That road leads out of the forest, I'm sure. But I don't think I'd get very far on foot. Plus, how could I leave without Gladys? I don't know, man. Let, like, unlock the friggin' door. Here, let me... With those monsters on the other side, I'm happy with this thing locked. So why won't he unlock the friggin' door? I need some way to get the monsters away. Walk to the left side of the dam like the so you're off two screens. Okay, this is where you throw the bones. This is where you throw the bone? Yeah. Jeez, man, throw me a bone. Hold on, did you get it? Yeah, he yeah, got the bone. Got to save bones for special occasions. All right, so how do I throw the bone? I like to save bones for Click special out occasions. in the river, mate. You get your fire extinguisher out. There you go. So whenever he jumps in? So is there just one less now? I think that's basically it, yeah. Just have to go grab another bone and do it again. Got it, okay. Will he let me grab more than one? Yes. Oh, he will. That's a big win. That's a big win for us boneheads. <laughs> Type one in chat if you're a bonehead. The Thank you for pressing stuff. one in chat, Michael. Me and Holly got Nobody else does. No we. Dude, my freaking... Like, what? My Twitch numbers have got to be wrong. It's been, like, between 6 and 8 all night. And, like, so? I don't know. I don't feel like I have that many viewers. Like, that is pretty high. John, you're playing one of the most games of all time. This is the most game of all time. Yay. Another win. Sounds like they must be gone. Nice. Key to the gates of hell. Okay, but like, even though we're all skeletons, I don't feel like the dam made of human bones and remains is any less... This outer gate is huge. I'll need Gladys to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. What dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, <laughs> That road leads out of the forest. Sure That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. I love that line, dude. I know what the best line in this game is, but the worst thing is, it's entirely Hello? possible to just not get it. Miss Tolomar! We're here to save you! Hey, lay off the racket, the whole 
pounds of sleep. But I want a drag race. When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town. <laughs> You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mech is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. Yeah. Potential. Um, I think... I don't know, Mike. What do you think? Good place to save? Almost. You're at the very end of a section. Okay. Like, if, if you go just a little bit longer, you'll hit perfect place to save. Yeah. This well, isn't actually, the train station, is it? It might be worth saving here, so you can then uh, pick up with the cutscene next time. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for showing up. This is some pretty great numbers. I'm going to have to stream more. Like, I feel... If I can draw eight viewers, nine viewers sometimes, just, like, as a return stream after a long time, I really owe it to you guys to, like, be here more often. Michael's going to be on the stream a lot more, too. I've been spending a lot more time with my brother, and I love him a lot. I hope you guys love L him, too. Listen, don't make promises for me. I have no problem being recurring special guest sort of thing, but you know I'm not the social butterfly that you are. Yeah, I know. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and have a great, great day tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Don't let capitalism win. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.